Yeah, uh, I've been late night cruising. They been hitting on my phone, but I've been late night cruising. Yo, hello, it's Reva here, and in today's video, I will be showing you guys how to make the blending effect you guys saw in the beginning when you blend two pictures together to make a super cool look. And yeah, if you guys want to support me, I have a website, so feel free to check that out. But yeah, let's get right into this. We are going to go up to file here and then press new, and uh, I'm going to choose the normal FHD resolution with 100 uh, in the resolution quality here, and it's going to be horizontal uh, and you press create and here you're going to add your person uh, you want to blend a picture with so I'm going to add a picture of trippy red here and uh, you can see that it's kind of small so we are going to scale it up uh, and if it becomes uh, this like stretchy here you're just going to press ctrl z to go back and then hold shift so it uh, becomes normal all the time. But yeah, I'm going to scale this one up. I want it to be pretty large. And then uh, now we want to uh, mask out uh, our person here or strip red here. So I'm going to be using this uh, magic wand tool here. So I'm just going to press on strip red here and then press select subject up here and then press OK. So now Photoshop has masked out uh, our person for us. So we are going to press Control C and then Control V. I mean, it, it's pretty good masked out, but it's not like per it's not uh, perfect if you can see the, the throat there. So I'm just going to fix that now using this. Doing something like that. Control C, Control V, and then you merge both of them. Boom. So now it looks a little bit better. And now we are going to drag in our texture here. So I'm going to be using a Galaxy texture. Uh, you can just search up te Galaxy texture on Google to get one. I'm going to scale this one up just like that. And the blending mode we're going to be using on this layer is going to be a lighter color. So choose that one. And I think this already looks pretty good. And now uh, we're going to add a adjustment layer here, uh, which is called levels. Boom. And here you can drag uh, up and down here to adjust how much you want the texture layer, how much you want it to merge or whatever. So I'm going to go with this. I think this looks pretty cool. And then I like to add a little, a little bit of black and white. Just like that, because that makes the... Uh, galaxy texture pop a lot more in the image here so yeah it looks pretty pretty clean in my opinion and now to make this a little bit better i like things to um, you know glow a little bit so i'm going to press ctrl j on the texture layer and then here we're going to open up filter blur and then box blur and we're going to use radius 30 pixels so something like that and then we're going to change the blending mode to linear dodge so that makes the texture glow a little bit more and if you think this is too bright you can drag down the opacity to maybe 75 or 85 or whatever you like but i'm gonna keep that 100 for a moment and then now uh, i'm just going to add a text to this uh, image here uh, you can add like the name of the artist maybe music label a song name whatever you know 1400 because it's trippy red and then rotate it 90 degrees on the side that looks good and now you can see that trippy red is a little bit too close to the text so i'm going to move him a little bit to the side just like that looks pretty pretty clean and then drag the text uh, below the trippy red uh, layer so yeah something like this i think it looks pretty pretty clean and now i'm going to make a new layer a clean layer here and i'm going to use the brush tool here and then set the color to black here and uh, the opacity can be yeah 13 percent and we're going to make a uh, vignette here we're going to go on the sides and darken uh, the edges here something like that it looks pretty clean so this is the difference that is basically how you made the effect and now i'm just going to make some finishing touches here uh, so now i'm going to go to file export export as png and then save it uh, in a folder and then when you have exported it you can go, go to file again new go with the same you had before and then here drag in your exported uh, picture boom and then here we're going to add some uh, finishing touches so i'm going to be adding uh, sharpen and then sharpen more just like that it makes it a lot more crispier and then go to filter noise add noise 
and go with 3%. So yeah, this is how you made the blending effect, I guess I could call it. But yeah, if you guys want to support me, I have a website, you know, check that out. Like and subscribe uh, if you like the video. And if you have any new ideas on tutorials I can make, please comment that down below. I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.